Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. You guys responded overwhelmingly positively to the last haul video that I did. So I decided haul videos are coming to the channel. So um, I'm back with another one today. This is from Fabric Mart. And I have to tell you, remember the beginning of the year whenever I posted about how to sew on a budget? This is probably one of the most affordable way to buy patterns and fabric that I have ever come across. And it is the Fabric Mart pre-cut kits. So basically they take a pattern, they match it with a suitable fabric, cut the fabric into a predetermined amount based on the sizing and like the type of garment that it is, package it all together and sell it to you as a kit. And then once in a while, they put these kits on sale for 60% off. Like I'm not even kidding. It is like yardage of fabric and a pattern, sometimes big four patterns, sometimes indie patterns for $4, $6. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen one definitely not up to $10, maybe eight is the most I've ever seen. So I got five garment kits um, for $45 shipped. Okay, so just brace yourselves. Um, so I just wanted to really quickly go double check and see if they were still on sale. It looks like they are, but only for 50% off. So still a great deal. Um, if the ones that I'm about to mention are still available, I will link them in the description box below where you can go grab them for 50% off. Okay, so the very first one um, is this package, which includes Simplicity 2774, which is a jersey, um, uh, I guess like fit and flare with a v-neck, or it has like a little like, I don't know, slit opening type of thing in there. Um, super cute, it's from the Kalia Ali collection, so it's a designer simplicity pattern great. Um, and I want to say, I want to see how current this is. So it's from 2008. So not a super recent pattern, but I mean, it's definitely a cute style that's like not super, super trendy. In fact, this one with the sleeves is like really on trend now. So um, I'm probably going to make view E, which is the knee length um, with the kind of wider flutter sleeves and the slit opening versus the V neck. Um, that's the version I really like. But it came with, what was that, 2774? Yeah, it came with this Rayon Lycra jersey, 2774, um, which in this beautiful eggplant color, I'm hoping it shows up on camera. It's like the darkest, deepest purple. It almost looks black, but once you get it in the light, it looks really, really nice. It's a little bit substantial for a jersey. Um, I don't know if that's the lycra content in it or what, but um, it is, I mean, look how, I'm a, I don't even know how many yards of this I got, but it must be, I mean, cause this comes with a maxi. So did they give me like four yards? Probably. So I can make that dress plus a really beautiful t-shirt out of this as well. You can see it has beautiful drape. Again, like they've matched it to the pattern so you know that it's going to work um, with the pattern that they gave you. But there is a ton of yardage here, like so much. I'm gonna be able to make multiple garments with this. For this individual one, I paid $7.20. <laughs> for four yards of fabric and a simplicity designer pattern. So there you go. So that's kit number one. It really is a beautiful color. It'll show up better maybe in photos after I make it. You guys will have to, <laughs> to take a look at that, but I cannot wait. And a, a rayon oh, um, dress, oh, it's gonna be perfect, gonna be perfect. Okay, so the next one is Soaholics Gabriola skirt. And I've been eyeing this. They've had a couple of kits that featured this Soaholic skirt. Um, let me try and keep these organized. Um, so the Gabriola skirt is this one that has, they, the description on the pattern is flared, unlined maxi skirt, 
Sit to the natural waistline with flattering seam lines and center back zipper closure. Your choice of single button or hook and bar closure on the waistband. View A and B are full length. View B features contrast waistband and yoke panels. So this is super, super flattering with those different panels. I don't think I would do contrasting panels um, because that, I don't need to draw attention to that area, but I do love the shaping that it will provide. So with that came this rayon chalet, I'm 99% sure just by touching it. Yeah, rayon chalet, I paid $7.20 for this kit. You know, the Soaholic patterns, do they have the price on here? They're like 15 or $20. And you know, those indie patterns hardly ever go on really deep discount. Okay, so the Rayon Chalet, you guys. So it is, it kind of reminds me of the caftan, the Charlie caftan I just made. Um, but this is a very silky Rayon Chalet. Um, can you see the print? It's kind of like an all over... I don't know, is it animal print or tie dye? How is it reading to you guys? It has, you know, grays and blacks with this ever so subtle, 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 kind of like green tone to it. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And can we just talk about the weight of it and the drape of it? Wow, it feels so soft. It literally feels like silk. I wonder how it is going to wash up. I'm not sure, but it's kind of like an abstract print, which is kind of cool for a maxi skirt like that because you're most likely gonna pair this with a tank top. Um, so, and the tank top being solid, those are the easiest ones to find. Um, so this will look really good with like a black tank top or um, maybe like a chambray button up tied at the waist. There's a lot of options really. This is um, kind of neutral with all these colors. So I think paired with most any style neutral top you would be good to go oh i just love this this is making me so excited to sew all of this stuff okay next we have another simplicity and you guys have probably seen this one i think it's still in the catalogs um it is an amazing fit pattern 1652 um i feel like i've been eyeing this one at various joanne sales for years and years um Trying to find the year on this one, the copyright on this one too. 2013, yeah, so that makes sense. But it's a really super cute fit and flare with an adorable little like chain embellishment in, in the waist. Um, the back also has, you can't see it from here, I don't think, yeah, you can. That little triangle cutout, which is really adorable and flattering, you guys know, like I love a back detail. Um, and you can also do like a piping detail on the sleeve. And of course, with the princess seams and the amazing fit combo, you know it's gonna fit great without having to do a lot of work. So this is almost a no brainer pattern wise. And then they paired it with 1652 is a Ponty knit, which is interesting. I'm not so sure I would have chosen Ponty or a knit at all, I would have chosen woven. Um, but it does say lightweight double knits is an option and I guess Ponty could fall into that cat. It's not a double knit, but it is a lightweight knit ish. No, it's not. I'm trying to like make this, trying to sell you on this, but Ponty's Ponty. But you know how Ponty's kind of can be swapped out for wovens anyways. So I think it's black. Yeah. So, um, it is just going to be a beautiful black ponty dress which is kind of really great because that chain detail i think you would really want a solid um fabric so that the chain detail can really be highlighted um i am planning another trip to new york city at the end of june i think um still working on the details with amber but um that'd be the perfect place to source some of this chain because i really have no idea where to go get it um but the ponty is really nice quality it um is a little bit you know kind of has some weight to it as ponty does but it's still very it's hard to see because it's black um but can y'all see some of that drape yeah so the gathers that are in the front of the dress on the waistband are going to look really really great um in this in this drapey drapey ponty um it might be a little warm for it might be a fall dress you know what i mean because i don't know that i could wear it maybe in our early spring and then fall and then even into winter with like a jacket over it. I know I could easily get away with that here. So beautiful Ponty. 
Okay, I think I have two more, yep. Okay, so this is a pattern company that I don't think I've ever heard of before, um, but I'm gonna explain to you why I got it anyways. So this is Green Bee Patterns, and this is called the Amelia Dress. So the Amelia Dress is a bias cut um, dress, fit and flare. It has like, you can't see from, maybe you can, can y'all see these designs better? There's a glare from the light. Um, but basically it has some interesting like side darts, no set in sleeve, um, center front um, bodice and center front skirt. So you could do some interesting stripe details. Um, it could be cute. I don't know anything about Green Bee though, nor do I know anything about this Amelia dress. Have any of y'all ever made the Amelia dress before? Um, this is, so I paid the most for this one actually. This one is $9.60, but I got it because A, I love trying new dress patterns, and I do feel like the style lines with those um, darts that come from the waist up ish diagonally are very flattering and this would be a quick sew I thought um, but I think I got it the most because I love the fabric now the fabric is gorgeous <laughs> it is these um, little feathers but um, chevron background feathers on top and the feathers are metallic <laughs> it is really really pretty um, this is a cotton and I just thought, you know what, even if I decide to not make the Amelia dress, the cotton in and of itself for $9 is worth it. This is cotton by Jennifer Sampu for Robert Kaufman. Jennifer Design XO, oh, Go Create and Shimmer is the line. Um, yeah, so it is narrow. You got to keep that in mind, which is probably why this dress, you can make a whole dress out of this because they, all the center front seams and center back seams. Um, but I just thought, you know, a cute cotton dress, you can't really go wrong. I have a gajillion dress patterns that I can use for cotton. And I just loved this print. I just thought that it was really one of those cotton prints that looks like garment you know a lot of them can look quilty or like little kids clothes but this one felt really mature and i don't know just very pretty um so i think that since the pattern is cut on the bias meaning where the two um like these what am i trying to say these um feathers are going to be sideways like this going in from each side same thing on the skirt so that is either going to be really cool or really weird um I haven't I can't decide if that's cool or weird what do you guys think oh, I'm trying to like mimic exactly what it would look like in reverse so you guys can see I don't know I think it could be kind of cool I mean, you certainly don't have to cut it on the bias, but it'll just be off grain, which we all know is just a suggestion. Most of the time, not, but sometimes just a suggestion. I don't know. I think it's a subtle directional thing that they have going, so it could be okay. Better than them getting cut off, I think. Okay, I'm overthinking this way too much for a haul video. So, there you go. Robert Kaufman metallic feathers on chevron it's really cute you guys really cute and green bees amelia dress pattern seriously let me know if you guys have made that in the comments below if you have it on a blog or somewhere i'd love to know what you guys think okay we're on our last one um out of five this is again something i've been eyeing for a while because of the fabric um the pattern is a butter top pattern by the number of 5826. So this is a pullover, half placket, um, loose fitting blouse. It has some various options for the neckline, various sleeve options, um, and various shoulder seam options. Um, so pretty versatile. I'm not sure, honestly, that I would have picked up this pattern just kind of on my own. But, you know, it's nice to have tops, and I could see myself making a short sleeve one. 
to be honest. But mostly I got this kit, and before I forget, I paid $4.80 for this kit um, for this fabric. I know it's been around forever and ever. It's the Rayon Chalet, um that everyone knows and loves. I want to say it's from Cotton and Steel. I'm pretty sure it's from Cotton and Steel. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Um, but it is just a gorgeous print. I want to say one of the first times I had gone to Fabric Mart to look at their kits, this fabric was matched with the Gabriola skirt. It was matched with this. So instead of getting that abstract gray and black one, uh, fabric, it was paired with this fabric. So, I mean, push comes to shove, I could not make that blouse top and I could make another Gabriola skirt with um, navy tank top to go with it. I think that would be really stunning and really cute. So, um, since this was literally less than $5, I figured I needed to go ahead and get the fabric because I have always, always loved it.